Hi everyone, this is our uh, test automation brigade meeting and uh, today is March 26, 2020. And uh, just a reminder again, uh, these meetings are public and recorded and posted onto YouTube. So with that, let's go to our meeting, meeting agenda. And uh, as usual, let's start with our status and updates on the JIRAs. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> there are hardly any here, which is good, which is looking good. Um, so just um, going over these, I'm not going to go through each one of them today, but if you guys have any issues, you can bring it up. We already talked about some of the tickets like last week. Gayatri, Suraj, Hung, uh, any issues on these tickets? No, so Jitra. So, so, uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, and uh, Suraj, I'm thinking that this is kind of little complicated, and I, I know that you're you're automating it. Probably, um, if it would be nice if we will get it next week. Otherwise, we can also move it to the future. So, because we already have one data print test case from Guy Three, which we will we will be trying to integrate it. No, so uh, I mean, I can submit it uh, by tomorrow, or early next week. So, based on Girish's uh, reply, uh, now I am uh, checking only uh, data parsing through the Volta platform uh, using the technology profile. So based on that, I am writing the script. So, that part is little, I mean, uh, possible to achieve. So. Based on that, I will uh, be submitting mostly by tomorrow or on the Monday. So, yeah. hmm. Okay, sounds good then. Mm, thanks, Suraj. Um, and uh, Hangui, I assigned a new ticket to you. That's from Suraj. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, I see. So I will work on this issue today and we'll discuss with you if, if I have any questions. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I don't see any other tickets which are part of 2.3, but um, uh, does anybody have any other concerns or questions regarding the tickets? Okay, sounds good. Um, so pending patches, um, yeah, so the, the Jira ticket which I showed, this is the new one that I added, which was in future by mistake, and then I moved it and then assigned it to Hung. And the next items we have pending patch reviews from uh, for the data plane test cases. And I know there is one from Hardik as well today um, that I will review it. And this is Gayatri's patch for the data plane, which Andy is reviewing it. And um, um, there is one issue that I've been noticing on the QA patches where we are trying, where we are getting late uh, plus one responses from the Jenkins. So I just put an example here when I was trying to review and merge one patch, I, I noticed that this particular patch had like a lot of, uh, uh, it's it's just that it's just not this patch there are a couple other patches where it takes time at least 25 minutes to get plus one from jenkins so i just put it as an example i'm not sure if zach is on the call uh yes i am i can i can take a look at that um it's 18218 i'll 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 poke at it yeah yeah please uh because this one last Yesterday evening, it almost took like half an hour, more than half an hour, 35 minutes for some of the uh, um, um, rebase to get plus one on it. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Thanks, Zach. I, I can update that right now. Um, as far as I can tell, it was taking a very long time to start up in AWS uh, for an executor to get allocated, like half an hour, mm -hmm. um, which is not 
ideal. Um, if you look at the test from last night, I'm gonna paste it into the chat. Um, there's a time, this run spent section, and you'll see that it's a, it spent 27 minutes waiting, 10 minutes to build, and then 36 minutes total. So that 27 minutes waiting is waiting on AWS to allocate a node. Um, and that's that's not not good, but that's probably related to um, uh, the AWS side of things. I'll I'll see if I can track down why that is, um, but uh, there's not a whole lot of introspection as to how quickly nodes get brought up in AWS. Um, so is this happening only on Voltas? I mean, our QA patches, or does it ha also happen on other patches as well? I can't imagine it isn't happening other places. It might just be that we're more sensitive to it because mm -hmm. um, just everybody rushing in to get their patches in at the last minute. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. All right, thanks, Zach. So what, I'm not sure, like probably may, after the release, if there is some time to make things a little faster, maybe that will be helpful. Yeah, I, I think um, especially for tests that are running, um, uh, that run like one-off small jobs, like the uh, like the license check and those sorts of things, th those we can com start combining. Um, I, have, I have a document half written that has that in it, but um, the actual, um, that, that won't help with the job allocation issue that was delaying this one, which is probably an AWS issue. Um, it might just be that AWS is being overloaded because of everybody shifting their workloads to the cloud. Hmm. So, okay. Okay. It is an issue. It's just not. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure whether it's within our power to to resolve. Okay. All right, thanks, Zach. Okay, so if are there any other issues uh, before we move on to the next item status regarding JIRAS? Anybody else is working on any other items which are not shown here? By the way, this is the list of uh, tickets that are as part of the future, and uh, some of them are in progress. I am really not going through all of them, but unless if anybody has issues that we want to talk about, any concerns, then you can bring it up. Okay. Sounds like nothing. Moving on to the next item, pods. Uh, uh, looks like we are good with the Infosys pod and Berlin pod. Uh, any concerns? Uh, no, Sujitra, it's working fine. Okay, I already updated the timers on the Infosys pod. Uh, let me know if that is not a good time. Um, then we can update the job again to trigger it at any yeah. time. Sure, sure. Thank you. Okay, let me just quickly. So I think it looks like it got triggered at this time. And there is one update uh, that um, I came to know yesterday that there is a new open OLT 2.3.0. It's, it's not new, but there is a small update to that uh, Debian package with the same name. Um, again, if you go to the Edge Core website, it, you will find it on the same name, open OLT 2.3.0. Uh, please, uh, there is one small fix that Girish had put and I have already uploaded is it on our QA parts. Um, so please also do it on uh, Infosys and Berlin port. Did the name of that package change or is it an exact, exactly the same as before? It's exactly the same name. Okay. Could we in the future uh, um, add 
some sort of suffix so that we can differentiate between them? Um, yeah, maybe I can bring this up uh, to Garish. Okay, that, that would be great because, um, because one of the problems we're going to have going forward, especially as more people get involved, is not being able to tell which, what, what the exact versions people are running. Mm -hmm. and, okay, thank you. Yeah, because even I didn't know until he told me that there was a change. So it must be some way. Okay, so then, and then for the regression issues. So last week we noticed uh, when we discussed about the regression issues in the, in the tests and um, we have added more test cases yesterday, and then now there are total up to 20 on, on the FlexPod, which runs using the power switch on off those kind of test cases, and 19 are the total on the other pods that you should see. And there are quite failures, but since we just introduced them yesterday, we might have to fix the uh, uh, test itself, or we need to see if there are any regressions again in the uh, with the new test cases that we have introduced. So we should keep an eye on those. So that's one update. And the older issues and all the bugs that we had raised and have been tracking are already fixed. And uh, all of them have been also closed. Like earlier, we had some um, uh, bugs here and they have been closed. And um, no new outstanding issues as of now. But if there are any issues that you are seeing, uh, please bring them up. Please bring them up to our attention, and we can discuss on the QA channels. Any questions on the uh, Jenkins jobs itself? So another update is that we are going to branch off. Uh, Zach, uh, do you have any update on that? So we're based on that, we will start creating uh, new job sets for branch, for the new branch, for the release branches. I, I can create um, jobs on that. The big, the big change is going to be that we're going to be checking out a branch of the Volta system test repo. And so there's going to be a uh, Volta-23 branch. Um, are there any tests that need to get in before that? I, I'm not thinking there are. Uh, tests uh, for... Anything new that needs to... Um, uh, any outstanding patch sets that add new tests to the, um, the, that we're going to be using on an ongoing basis for the 2.3 branch? Yeah, there might be some fixes also. Right now, right. there are some... Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, that, so that's that's going to happen. Some of the jobs are going to change, um, or there are going to be new jobs that have like Volta two three in them. Um, I can start making those jobs, and um, I, I may need some help with that. But um, it's it's basically just going to check out a specific um, branch of two dot three, and then anything on the two dot three uh, branches of other code is going to be tested against that. Um, we're again, we're gonna also test on master and master is gonna get tested against master, so. Um, oh. But but system test patches, we can still merge on either of, both of them, right? Right, um, I would highly recommend that for system test patches, if they're new tests, um, they, they should probably be done on master first and then cherry picked to 2.3. Um, not developed directly on 2.3. Um, there's a document that's going to be circulating um, that we've been working on that talks about the release process and how to apply chess or ch how to apply um, changes and fixes after the release. Um, well, the system test is basically going to uh, that that it's going to talk a little bit about how that's going to work with the system test. Okay, so when are you going to uh, circulate that? 
document? Um, well, it's been circulating in ONF just for approval, and I think it's ready to go out. Um, it'll probably happen. I think it's going to happen sometime today. Um, okay. Okay. So it also includes the uh, cherry pick, uh, how we are going to do the cherry pick and where we are submitting the patches first, those kind of rules as well? Yeah, it's gonna say, it says um, do it, do it, do patch sets, uh, do changes to master first, um, and then to the, and then cherry pick them to the 2.3 branch. Okay. And um, if there are tests that are 2.3 specific, I don't, I don't know that there are any that are, um, but, um, we, they they could go in directly under the two dot three branch, but I don't think that's likely to happen. Yeah, that's very highly unlikely. Most of them will go to both the branches. Yes. Okay. Okay. So so we'll wait for you your document and then your announcement on the new branches. Correct. Correct. And I'll I'll just um, be creating that branch from the current head of the um, of the Volt system tests branch. Okay. Anything else Zach, that you would suggest? Nope. Um, uh, nope, it looks like we'll be in pretty good shape um, for this. Uh, just um, uh, just be be aware of that uh, for most people, it's not going to change anything um, if you can continue to just submit and continue working on your test patches in master. And then if we do decide we need them in 2.3, we can work with you to um, cherry pick over. Okay. So now another question is, we do have some existing like huge patches right here, which might take some time to review and merge. Um, so how is that going to be so right now since it's already tagged as master so they would first go into master and then we cherry pick them that's how it's going to be right let's say if the branch correct. Is created yeah correct there would be no changes to that um they'll hit master first and then we have to decide whether it's worth bringing them back to the 2.3 branch okay sounds good yeah hey okay. all right thanks zach anyone has any questions for zach regarding the branch the branching and uh, any concerns? All right. And uh, just to uh, let everyone know that people who are working on, uh, on the future tickets and uh, submitting patches, uh, just put them onto master and then don't, uh, please don't cherry pick them onto 2.3 unless they are very specific and then we can pick and choose what goes on to the Volta 2.3 branch. So we'll make a decision then. So hopefully it will be clear in, in another one week or two then uh, um, after 2.3 is stabilized then most of them would always go to master. So there is no confusion, but there are some tickets which will also go to 2.3 so we can, if you have any questions, concerns, we can, before you cherry pick them, let's please, uh, let's talk on the Slack or on the email, and then we can uh, decide and then cherry pick accordingly. Hope that's clear. Any questions? Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, so I put a, a link here. This was given to me by Zach and actually this is the uh, link. I will act, put this link into the test brigade meeting and people who are looking to get more tickets and more items to work on. Once you're done with these in progress items, um, like what Torsten and Owe have asked, for some tickets so please go through this list and if you can pick one of these then that's good otherwise let me know and we can talk about it and i will assign some new stories to you so there are many uh, to do items here um, you can leave leave out the dt and tt uh, but there are some other generic uh, tests that you can pick up and then start working on
Okay, any questions? All right, sounds good. Um, so um, anyone else have has to add any items today to share or talk about any concerns, issues? Okay, sounds good. Uh, I think that's all we have on the items today. Um, yeah, hopefully we will branch off and then we will create new, um, these releases will release tests, all these jobs will be get, will have, I'm sorry, these release tests might be changed and then we will have actually all the 20 tests moving to 2.3 and uh, we will also create master branches. So by next week, we'll have some updates on these Jenkins jobs and uh, we can talk more about those. Just a heads up that um, these jobs will be changing soon. All right, if there is nothing, then we can call the meeting off. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for your time and we will talk again next week, same time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.